Like any well-engineered machine in the world, the body needs a consistent source of fuel or energy to work. Rather than relying on gas or electricity, the human body's primary source of energy comes from glucose, or sugar, which is produced after every meal. However, for this source of energy to fuel the cells within the body, it first has to escape and enter the bloodstream through the body's intestinal walls. This is where insulin comes into play and basically acts as the gatekeeper between glucose and the body receiving the energy it needs. But what happens when this system breaks? As of 2021, roughly one in every 10 adults across the world has a form of diabetes. People who suffer from this chronic condition experience a malfunction or lack of insulin within their bodies. So without insulin, the body's glucose levels skyrocket and roughen the body's arteries, leading to an increased risk of heart disease, high blood pressure, and general organ damage. Leaving this condition unchecked could result in blindness, kidney disease, amputation, and even death. Now, there are several types of diabetes, type 1, type 2, and an increasingly common type known as gestational diabetes. The risk of developing type 1 diabetes is often believed to be genetic. This autoimmune disorder causes the body to attack the cells in the pancreas responsible for making insulin, leading to a shortage or complete lack of insulin. Type 2 diabetes is the most common. It happens when your pancreas doesn't produce sufficient insulin or when the body doesn't use the insulin it produces effectively. This leads to decreased insulin effectiveness and higher insulin resistance. Gestational diabetes, a growing concern during pregnancy, occurs when the body struggles to process insulin effectively. While the exact cause remains uncertain, experts speculate that hormones from the placenta might interfere with insulin function in the mother's body. Now, diabetes is treatable through controlled use of medications or insulin, but in the US, insulin prices have skyrocketed. Some people are forced to ration their doses or resort to risky alternatives like the black market or making their own. For people who struggle with type 1 diabetes, regular insulin shots are necessary. Before insulin was discovered in the 1920s, type 1 diabetes was fatal and doctors often prescribed low calorie starvation dieting to provide relief. Type 2 diabetes is usually treated with medications that boost the body's response to insulin and reduce glucose production. Sometimes insulin supplements are necessary and lifestyle changes like diet, exercise, weight loss, and keeping blood sugar levels in check can even reverse the condition. Gestational diabetes typically subsides after birth, though treatment throughout the pregnancy can include insulin therapy, dietary changes, and blood sugar management medication. In a world where the price of life-saving treatments continues to soar, the battle against diabetes persists. Yet, with the struggle, research marches forward, offering glimmers of hope through innovations like cell therapy, artificial organs, and even unexpected avenues like fecal transplants. As the journey for new solutions continues, so does the need for affordable access to essential treatments, ensuring that no one is left behind in the fight against this chronic condition.